I recently built up a new oval Moxon antenna that is uh, considerably easier to build than my original design. I just got done uh, with the CQ Worldwide contest and I was able to work 65 countries uh, in about seven hours of operation so I'm really happy with how it's working out. Uh, if um, you haven't seen the original video uh, of the original Oval Moxon, uh, please check that out. The uh, link is in the uh, comments section and uh, that includes all the dimensions for the driven elements and the uh, reflector. So, let's get on with uh, the new discoveries. Like the original design, the new antenna uses the 10-foot uh, three-piece uh, Black Widow telescoping fishing rods. And uh, what I'm using to uh, mount the rods is this uh, low-pressure PVC pipe. Um, it's uh, one inch in diameter, and the cool thing is is that the fishing rod fits right inside that uh, tubing. So it uh, makes for a nice mount. And uh, another neat feature of the fishing rods is they've got this hook here uh, for putting your fishing line on. But uh, what I use it for is to attach it uh, to the, uh, the PVC pipe. And uh, it's a, a pretty firm grip there. Also, when you build the actual uh, driven element and reflector bridle, uh, those uh, wire elements uh, keep the Black Widow fishing rods under compression, so it's always uh, putting a force in this direction on the PVC pipe, so it's never going to come out. I've had the antenna up in uh, 25 mile an hour wind so far, and it's been uh, rock solid. So anyway, that's kind of the, the new discovery I made. And uh, I'll go ahead and give you some other uh, tidbits here. I decided to use 1x2 poplar for the antenna boom as you can find some uh, very straight uh, lengths at your local uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. And it also makes it quite easy to attach to a uh, piece of closet rod which can then go inside of uh, your fiberglass mast or your metal mast so you can uh, detach that antenna quite uh, easily when you need to. These are the clamps that I'm using to attach the PVC pipe to the poplar boom and they have uh, fairly long threads so they have enough uh, depth to get through the wood. When you buy the PVC pipe make sure you get the thin wall variety so that the fishing rods can fit inside and then cut two pieces exactly 38 inches long. Another thing that speeds up assembly of this antenna are the usage of these uh, clips for the driven element to reflector separator. Here you can see the six inch uh, separation is just a bunch of these clips put together and tie wrapped to the elements. Here's what the antenna looks like uh, once it's assembled. I uh, wrap that 14 gauge antenna wire about uh, one turn every 18 inches or so uh, close to the boom and then as I get out to the ends where it bends more I uh, do a few more wraps and I put some more frequent uh, uh, black plastic electrician's tape to retain it. I also use a zip tie at the very end of the fishing rod where there's an eyelet and as you can see I like to use ring terminals at the very end of uh, both the driven element and the reflector because it makes it easy to attach with uh, those ring terminals in place. I use screw-in ground anchors uh, and with a dog clip uh, holding the paracord and uh, I use these candy camping tensioners to uh, get it to the exact length to keep the mast upright. The antenna weighs just a little over six pounds and the uh, fiberglass mast doesn't add a whole lot of weight so it's quite easy to get this antenna up about 17 feet in an HOA environment. I uh, usually take it down during uh, windy weather but uh, I have uh, left it up uh, during some contests to uh, uh, work the contest while it's been quite windy and it's uh, worked out very well. 
I just use uh, the Armstrong method to move it to the correct bearing and it's uh, turned out to be a, a wonderful performer. I'm up to uh, 220 countries worked on the last couple of years and I'm sure I could not have done it, done that without uh, having the smock set up. Uh, this uh, is where I'm uh, putting the guy wires uh, on the uh, screw and ground anchors using those uh, dog clips. And you can use those line tensioners I showed you earlier to get the uh, mast uh, perpendicular to the ground. Or I guess I should say orthogonal to the ground. So there it is. Anyway, if you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, please do so. And uh, good DX to you.